So I think we can just start by, you know, you, wonderful person hosting this wonderful forum that makes everybody so happy. Um, to introduce yourself, obviously the name, where you're from, and then also tell us a little bit how long you've been with the organization and what your role is for the event. Very, very kind for saying that I host Asian Youth Forum, I'm just part of the team contributing and hopefully trying to be in the background to make, um, to support the team members in um, making things happen. I'm Ponce Ernest Samaniego. My role is Lead Youth Coordinator for Asian Development Bank, a role I've had for about two years now, but previously I was um, Youth Participation Specialist for the Water Sector Group of ADB. So within ADB, doing youth work for about four years now. From, from about 2012, where we had our first um, bigger initiative on youth with um, the water sector until evolving now to what is now ADB Youth for Asia. Can you explain a little bit more about the, no, 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 you're totally fine. <coughs> um, explain a little bit like the process. You say you first had a small youth project and now it's the fourth youth forum. Like what happened along the way? Um, how did it start and how do you get to where you are now? I was still a university student on my senior year doing a youth development project just with my colleagues, friends, stu fellow students from University of the Philippines. We were all business students, just eager to, to explore. And we decided that we wanted to work with NGOs because we do so much for business sector. We, we learn so much. And a lot of the times, what we do stays in the classroom. And we're just eager to, to get our hands dirty and explore. So we decided to work with NGOs. One event, I, <clears throat> I was... Um, I had a booth with my um, classmates. We were selling products made by an NGO, um, uh, products that we developed with them. By coincidence, ADB had a booth um, managed by Christopher Morris of NGO and Civil Society Center. In, in the same event, um, we were together. I had an awesome booth, kick ass. Definitely one of the top three in the, the area. So. Mr. Christopher Morris um, dropped by, was curious about what these young people are doing, and he was interested in having youth speakers in his event. I offered, um, not really knowing so much about ADB, I've, I've heard of it, it's familiar, and um, I'm, I'm not into the public sector, not really into development so much at the time. We exchanged um, details, so I learned more about ADB and realized that UN agencies, World Bank, they have a lot of youth engagement, but ADB currently doesn't have. So what I instead offered him was, maybe I could help out, put together a day of activities where young people can, can contribute. I worked on it as a volunteer, um, as a student, but getting closer to the event, um, we, we worked very closely. I finished my university, um, worked as a resource person for that event alone until things um, progressed to smaller events, to bigger events. Um, from the water sector to education until now from one just curious young person. Now we have about 20 people working in ADB Youth for Asia. We've opened and launched the youth office last night, which I hope you were there to see. Um, we're now on the fourth Asian Youth Forum, which is an annual big splash we try to do here in ADB. So I've been privileged to have been part of um, the youth movement that Christopher Morris has championed within ADB and found opportunities to learn um, about Asia Pacific and working with young people. Congratulations. I mean, this is uh, quite the forum that you guys put together. Thank you. And um, this forum took a lot of work, but this is just um, a part of what we do year long. We, we have, aside from the events like this, that we, we support um, the different ADB sector groups in, we have a team working for, with project officers in designing youth components to their work. We have um, an initiative with different partner organizations like ISEC, Youth for Global Goals. We have a strong partnership with Plan International in looking at how we can um, complement the strengths of civil society and ADB in reaching out to young people. So with those 20 people where um, the movement is growing and um, everyone hands on deck for Asian Youth Forum, but we'll go back to proceeding to operations and different activities we do once it's done. 
as you just explained, this has, you know, the forum itself has transformed over the years. And I'm sure your own, not only your own expectations, but also the teams and the organization's expectations from the forum have also evolved. Can you talk a little bit on, you know, just bringing together a couple of people for a day uh, to now having a three day event? And what do you guys <coughs> really want to achieve and expect the outcome to be from this? The first and second Asian Youth Forum was organized in conjunction with ADB's annual meeting. The first one was held in New Delhi in India. The second one was in Astana in Kazakhstan. And it's to promote the role of young people in ADB's annual biggest meeting of stakeholders. And we've been very happy of how that turned out because we've, uh, we were able to increase recognition of young people at such an important event in ADB. However, Asian Youth Forum has evolved as well with the the changing priorities of the youth program. For the third Asian Youth Forum, which was last year, we decided to bring it here in the headquarters because our focus then was to kick off um, our work with ADB's operations, project officers, um, its technical assistance activities, linking it back to, to the main um, activities of ADB. So the goal last year was to bring ADB staff closer to young people. We had about 44 ADB staff as panelists, as um, table facilitators, speakers for opening sessions, closing sessions, all engaging with young people during last year's International Youth Day as well. This year's Asian Youth Forum reflects another evolution to how we see youth engagement um, driven by ADB. So previously it was very ADB focused. Now we want to be a catalyst to bringing stakeholders together to support youth in contributing to development activities. In particular, to the sustainable development goals because um, as the current generation of young people evolve in the 15 years that the SDGs or sustainable development goals would be um, implemented it's it's a time where young people would mature into leadership roles and it's going to be an important time where we could engage them to to become involved and active so this time the Asian Youth Forum was designed with many components we expect in total to be engaging 450 young people from about 27 countries in different side events that includes um, a civil society driven event where they spend two weeks in homestays in local communities and really going deep to learning about um, real development um, issues, development realities. We have an event with private sector in particular with Microsoft which will happen on International Youth Day tomorrow. Um, it's about it's about engaging young women and including and encouraging them to take up careers and opportunities in ICT, in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. We also have an event um, with, with media more closely this time through the Digital Media Zone, which um, we're, we're doing at the moment, as well as we have something with, there's four, and, and the forum itself, we're engaging different agencies, um, different, um, we have closer links to government this time. So we bring together government, civil society, private sector organizations, ADB, to support youth to contribute to the sustainable development goals. So that's the current design of the Youth Forum reflects the changing priorities of ADB Youth for Asia. So okay, I guess I get your internal expectations, what you want to get out of the event. What do you hope to transform the, the delegates so that when they leave, so it's not just a transformation internally from ADB, but what do you want them to transform when they leave here? I understand that some of them just join us for a day, some for the three-day Asian Youth Forum, some for two weeks, so they have different diverse um, experiences and opportunities to engage with the development partners. And I understand as a young person myself that um, the personal reflection, your, the change that you see, that, that the commitment to work in development or to support development in what the, whatever career you, you go through happens in different times of your life. Like it's, you constantly learn and you constantly, you constantly um, experience new things. But what I want to, I, I also want to set the expectations that the, the activities that they would have um, here in the, the youth forum and the different activities we do at least opens them up to the possibility um, that would drive for their whole lifelong, their whole, um, because we, 
there are different moments in your life that sometimes affects just um, um, some part of your experience. But I hope this contributes to that greater long engagement that they learn about what SDGs are and then they get more interested. They go back to their communities, they Google online, they, um, they look out for partners in their communities. At least it hopefully opens up some possibilities that otherwise wouldn't have been possible. So maybe give us a little bit about, you know, what's next for you and what will you be taking with you and what will you be looking back <coughs> to um, from your experience here? As, as, I, as I've explained, I was in my role or doing the, the things that we have been doing in Youth for Asia for about four years. And it's been such a privilege, as I also mentioned earlier. Um, right now, <clears throat> for the last two, three years, it's been such a small team. Um, about three people maximum at the time and we've grown so much this year to about 20 so it's um, quite sad for me actually to be leaving when things are going so well as well. you know and we we have grown so close especially leading up to the forum because um, you work so closely together but at the same time I also see as, as we say as we say as well that um, young people are not just um, a, a sector or a group it's a a period in your life. Right? It's a transitionary period where you mature from being um, a child into getting a career, to getting a family, into finding yourself, into doing what you want. And in the four years, I've matured so much and I've been given so much opportunities that I, I see as well that, um, that I want the experience to be given to another person who's who's in a similar age when I joined. So I'll be moving on, but more, more young people would be taking my place and having this opportunity. I do, um, I do remain committed to working in the development sector. I want to explore, I'll be taking an MBA after, and I want to explore private sector development and social entrepreneurship, the role of innovation in development, because that's something that we we feel is very important for our youth program. We try not just to say that young people are important, but they're valuable, that they're innovative, and that's um, something that I'll take with me wherever I go. So just because you mentioned that person that will be taking your place or somebody, I mean, obviously your team has been growing and roles will be shifting <coughs> around, but what advice would you give these people that are gonna now start either in the position that you used to have or in similar positions here at ADB working for young people globally or particularly in Asia? I think, I think the human aspect of the work would be something that I would want that person to prioritize, that um, you, you engage with different organizations in various roles and some of them you see as high level or important, but I think you should, we should all Firstly, treat each other as fellow human beings and, um, and see that what their needs are and their roles um, and, and you, you interact with them as human beings first. Because I think that makes a lot of difference, that you don't treat um, partners from civil society, youth, UN, governments um, differently. You equally treat them with the same respect and um, same priority. So um, I, think, I think that's one thing that I, I would like that person to, um, to do because what we've done so far and in my role is that we've, um, I've focused a lot on partnerships and building links so that we can get things done to get more resources and I think I was able to do that because of um, the real human connections that, um, that I made that um, outside work or outside the role you connect as human beings so I, that's something that I'd like that person to to hopefully continue.